Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Friday. Today's Friday. Um, well, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I, uh, how can I explain this? Okay, so I got home from work, and the first thing I did was just sit on my couch and relaxed. That happened for about an hour and a half. Then we made hot dogs for dinner, which is nothing special. It's just hot dogs. Um, so then I started recording some things for the LP channel because I like to record them around 6, 7 o'clock when I get home from work. That way I can, like, de-stress, I guess. Um, and the thing is, though, is I was testing out a new program, which I was fairly sure was going to work just fine. Only problem, though, was it... I had some really good, I had a really good run of this level, and the problem was, it was it didn't record it correctly, the, the colors were all off, I tried using Camtasia, which didn't end up working, so I'm probably going to either have to A, go back to the old way I was recording, or B, find a better way for games, because that's the thing about games sometimes, is you can do a screen recording, but if they change the orientation and then like the color features and scheme and stuff like that, It'll just mess up badly. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably try to re-record it tomorrow, though, because, like, I'm very tired. I don't know why. It's 9.30 at night, and I'm, like, really, really, really tired. I don't know why. I, 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 did, I hardly did anything today at work, I mean, as far as my normal duties, but I just feel really tired. I don't know what it is. I need to probably look into maybe getting more energy again during the day and... Because I, I don't know. Tomorrow's going to be a really productive day, though, because I've got appointments, and tomorrow's the the official release of the new Doctor Who, which, you know, is going to be great. Um, but, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really tired, so I'm going to go to bed. I know I'm cutting the last few days short, but it's just these are things that, that I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I, I'm just tired. There's nothing new that happens. I get into this routine of doing stuff, and then... And what do you know, you know? So, unfortunately, I'm going to end things off for here today with a failed recording, so. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Saturday. Today is Saturday. It's 9.30 in the morning, and I'm making breakfast for everyone. We're having potatoes with onions, and I fried up some bacon. I'll probably fry up some more because people have been coming in and out picking at it, so. And of course, that's the way bacon works. But today's actually got a full schedule today. i got to do a few things, some errands, and you know, hopefully not get distracted. Unfortunately, last night I wasn't able to record a proper episode of the LP, so I need to fix that, probably upload two for today instead of just one. Just for the heck of it, I guess. But uh, that's what's on deck for today. We'll see what happens because... Oh, and Jeff and I are planning to make sushi tonight for dinner, so that should be an interesting treat. And there's the end product. We've got bacon, eggs, and starch, basically. It looks good though. It's good breakfast. Haven't had it in a long time. Uh, at the mall again. See if this will work this time. Well, here we are. I'm sure they're able to do something about this computer this time. Doesn't look too crowded. Well, we found the problem, like I said, and we're gonna go get it fixed. So hopefully, it shouldn't take long. Apple store and we're getting ready to watch Doctor Who after whatever this is some gymnastic thingy it's so exciting I can't wait we actually went out to go get pizza to celebrate no rhyme intended and thing is still there so yeah <laughs> I don't know we need food Cheese bread thing. Yeah. His trouble, where else would he be? The new Doctor lands in Victorian London. Next, <gasps> this one. Gasp! The new Doctor Who! Well, after a great Doctor Who adventure, I went shopping and that's what I got. 
Chicago just a few groceries because I realized that we had to go grocery shopping. So I decided to go grocery shopping alone for everyone and just give me some money, PayPal me the money. It's easier that way. Well, everyone, after a... Uh, well, I just got through from the groceries. After that, I decided to uh, fix our lawnmower because Jeff told me that it wasn't working. So after that, I basically mowed the lawn. And the lawn's outside has been mowing... It's been mowed now. Luckily, before the rain started. So it's starting to rain right now. I'd show an outside shot, but it's raining like crazy. Anyways, the power already went out once. It's funny because the power went out right after the uh, new Doctor Who episode aired. So that's annoying. So that, that was convenient. Anyway, speaking of which, I wanted to give you my thoughts on that. I thought it was a pretty, it was an interesting episode, but I, I felt like there was not really much of that grab your attention kind of feel to it. I don't know, it's still early to tell, but this, to me it's like, usually there's like a, a season long storyline progressing. You know, I have to figure out, you know, who did what and why. And I just didn't get that vibe from this episode. I don't know, I'm hoping it's not gonna suck, but Anyways, Peter Capaldi did a pretty good job, and, you know, that's all I can really say. But we'll see where they go from there, because to me, it seems kind of like... If you've ever seen the TV series House, it's like they put uh, the character that plays House, Hugh... Um, I can't remember his name, it's Hugh something. Anyways, it's like you put that character into Doctor Who, and then you see where it goes. That's basically the way the vibe I got from it, so... Anyways... That's really my opinion as far as Doctor Who is concerned, which was great today. I got to see it five hours before it's supposed to air in BBC America because I have the BBC Player app thing. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that was nice. And I'm actually going to make myself a fruit smoothie because um, we were going to make sushi tonight for dinner. But the problem is when Jeff went to go to the uh, fish market, it turns out that they close early on Saturdays, which I don't blame them. So, luckily, we have some frozen strawberries and some, you know, I just got some fresh fruit and everything. So, I'm going to go out. We're, well, we're going to go. I'm going to make myself a strawberry smoothie or strawberry shake, smoothie, fruit drink, whatever, for dinner. And that's it for tonight. And I'll probably play some games. I don't know. We'll see what happens because it's still pretty early. I think I might actually do some laundry if there's time. This is my shake. It's a fruit shake. So, what I did was I added one peach, about four or five cubes of watermelon, a handful of grape, and a little bit of strawberry, and you get that. And it actually, well, the strawberries were frozen, but they're actually really good. Mm -hmm. And I also added like half a cup or the three-fourths of a cup of black tea because we had some there and it was just warm. So I figured instead of just putting water in it, I put a little bit of tea in it and it actually tastes pretty good. So I don't know, you learn new things every day. I know they have like green tea smoothies, so why not black tea? Anyways, it's very good, just try it out. Ugh, well, all I can say is I'm, I'm just, I'm doomed out because I've been playing nothing but Doom for the past few hours. It's like almost 11 o'clock because I did a stupid thing for the last episode, which I think, I don't know if I explained it or not, but if I didn't hear it is again, bear with me. Long story short, my recording program failed on me last time, so I saved and I thought that my recording program was working, and the problem is now I was missing that section of an episode. So, what I decided to do was play the game up until that point, excuse me, again, and there's not really much changes, I mean, because I know where everything was or how I played through, so... And, and I got up to that point, saved, and then I used my old software, a newer version of it, and then started recording, and now everything right now is just rendering on my computer, which should be uploaded hopefully in a few minutes, I hope. But, you know, it's like, it's a slow, painful process, but I, I'm working on it. That, um, that shake was actually really, or that fruit smoothie was actually very good, I kind of needed it. But uh, I think I'm just going to watch some TV and relax a little bit while that's up. <laughs> or excuse me, while that's uh, rendering. Rendering always takes forever for some reason. I can't imagine why. But, you know, this is the way stuff works. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it for tonight, I think. <sighs> Pardon me, I'm getting actually kind of tired. Um, that's probably going to be all for tonight, for today. Today was a pretty eventful day, to say the least. I mean, there was... So much that happened from this morning, going to the Apple store, to today, to grocery shopping, mowing the lawn, fixing the lawnmower, 
all kinds of stuff. So today was a very productive day, I, I think. I can only top it tomorrow, I hope. But I don't know, tomorrow's going to be Sunday. I think there's some kind of potluck thing that we're going to be going to. So, I don't know. All I know is that uh, i got to get videos done and uploaded. And... Well, I did explain what... Um... Did I explain about work on Friday? No, I didn't. I said I was going to talk about it today. Okay, so explanation for work on Friday. Um, basically, I would be... As everybody knows, I have a full-time job. I do the vlogs on the side, the tech channel on the side, and the LP channel on the side as, as a fun thing. It's, but to me, my philosophy is once something stops becoming fun it's, and it's not worth doing anymore, it's, it's stop doing it. Stop wasting your time. Um, I kind of feel that way about the tech channel in a way. I hate to say that, but at first when I was in college, it was lots of fun. I just, it was something I got to do as a project. And now it's kind of just stale. So, I don't know, I'm probably going to end up rebranding that sometime in the next future. I'm going to have Jeff help me out with that. <sighs> Pardon me. But how does that relate to work? Well, like I said, I, I work full time for a living. So, it's hard for me to sit down and edit a video or to just get in the mood for stuff. like Because you actually have to be in the mood to video edit. It, it, it's a painful process. Ask anyone that's ever done it. I mean, you'll know. If, if, you, if you want to, just open up your editing software, and I dare you to try to make a regular video with transitions and everything. It's hard sometimes with some software, if you, especially if you don't know what you're doing. I kind of know what I'm doing with the software that I have. I have it to where it's simple enough to where I can work. Basically, at work, they told me that I can be what's known as a contracted employee. What that basically means is there would be absolutely no change in my salary, or how my taxes are done, basically no, no change. The only difference really is how much time I would be at the office. Like for example, I could work Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and that's it, and have Tuesday, Thursday completely off. I mean, I could probably be working remotely, or they'll have me like, you know, if they send an email, I can respond. But that would be my new schedule. And I honestly think that's a great thing, especially if there's no repercussion as far as them paying me less, or, uh, things about taxes, which, you know, like I said, there's only two things that are for sure in life, taxes and death. So, Benjamin Franklin. Um, so, I don't know, I was thinking about trying to do that, maybe a trial run, because that way I can get caught up with vlogs, and I can get caught up with, you know, doing stuff for the tech channel, at least, at least brainstorming newer ideas, and I still gotta fix that. Uh, brainstorming new ideas and just joke like that. Whew. Hard to be. I'm just so tired. So yeah, that, that's on my plate right now. I'm thinking about doing that, but I'm not sure again. Well, anyways, it's late. I'm probably going to go to bed after this is done rendering and uploaded. So let's meet back same time, same place tomorrow, shall we? That shake was so good I had to make another kind or a different one. Anyways, hello everyone, welcome to Sunday. It's Sunday, and it's pouring outside, so there's nothing I can really do about that. You'll probably hear some noise behind me. That's basically the washing machine. I'm washing all my clothes right now because it's raining, so I don't know. Maybe the power will go out. I don't know. I'm going to watch something on TV and edit some vlogs while doing that. And I'm having dinner of a shake here, which is all I'm probably going to end up drinking for dinner. I don't know. I'll probably make something if I feel hungry, though, but I've been trying to just, you know use or eat a lot more fruit than normal so i mean i've got watermelon strawberries peaches and grapes in this one shake which is great and there's enough that i made for two shakes so it's good anyways i'm just going to relax a little bit because it's it's sunday so and i'll probably try to record something for the lp channel again well my room is semi-clean now i had um washing my sheets i actually am I'm washing all my clothes right now for the week and I figured I should probably try to show you the shirts that I used for the week because I've been doing that for I don't know how long now because it's been it's been more than a month since Austin has challenged me to this you know wearing my one t-shirt every day contest whatever challenge basically to where I have to wear all my shirts at least once and I have I know I have and I've proved it to him because I moved all my shirts from this closet here to that closet there so you see here that there's hardly any left so now I'm just down to all the black shirts graphic tees so that's what I'm waiting on now to finish up but 
in the meantime, I figure I should probably at least show which ones I wore for the week. In case, in case anybody wants to keep track or is, uh, I don't know, whatever. I've got my Atari shirt right there. What else we've got? We've got the Master Chief shirt, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon concert t-shirt. The one I got from Corsair from PAX. Uh, Blastoise, awesome. Uh, hello, which, ah! Hello, the uh, kill bot from Portal, tur Turret. Doctor Who, I believe that's the sixth Doctor. We've got Doctor Who, David Tennant. We've got, what else? There we go. Christopher Eccleston. Uh, David Tennant again. Uh, Galaga. Call of Duty. Link. And the Rolling Stones. Well, sorry for the cut there. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's basically all the shirts so far for this week that I've worn. Um, including this one, which is Nyan Cat. I just threw him on because I just took a shower uh, to just wear around the house. I'll probably end up wearing him tomorrow. So, yeah. And right now I'm just waiting on my computer to finish uh, rendering the files for the new Doom episode, which shouldn't take that long. It's about... I don't know, 10 minutes left until it's done, then I'll upload it and have it ready to go. And then vlogs are going to be coming out during the week, um, at work specifically, so we'll see what happens with that. But I'm, I'm tired. I'm done for today. Saturday or Sunday has just been a very, it's been a very rainy day because, you know, there's not really much to get done except for, you know, things around the house, so. That's another thing I've been thinking about doing is actually making a things to do around the house list. So, I mean, the problem is that you can have a list, but never do it. So, at least I know what needs to be done. <sighs> well, I think I'm going to just end things off for tonight here. So, let's be back same time, same place tomorrow, shall we? Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Monday. It's my turn to cook, and I'm cooking pork chops, or cream mushroom pork chops. We have rice, cream mushroom sauce, and pork chops cooking. There's some that are ready. I'm just cooking right now. So, yeah, it's cooking. And that's what dinner looks like. Got some rice. Got some uh, pork chops and cream of mushroom sauce and all of it. And you'll notice that it looks a little like runnier, the sauce, than normal. is because I had uh, put a little bit of water and I, and I boiled the sauce separately this time instead of all together like I usually do. But that looks really good. I'm going to have some dinner because I've been hungry since like 10 a.m. Well, that was a delicious dinner. But what ended up happening was I, when I came in this morning, I found this box in front of my door. So... I am still trying to figure out what this box is because I don't recall ordering anything in the last few days. So it's actually going to be quite a surprise for me. I'm not really all entirely sure what this is. So hopefully it's nothing that will explode. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a package. I always find these boxes kind of weird. But anyways, oh, this looks like... Is it? Yep. This is the Sony Vio 2-in-1 that I originally sent in for repair. Oh, there it is. It looks like the same one. I can tell because there's a little bit of red right there still. Anyways, I'm going to see if there's a instructions or something that came with it. It looks like there's something in the box. I might have told me what they did or if they didn't do anything because like Geek Squad, they don't usually do nothing. Let's see here. Okay, so according to this, all they basically did was update the drivers to where it doesn't have this problem anymore. But that can mean just about anything, honestly, because I put drivers in here already myself. And if they're telling me that they have special drivers that I can't get access to, I don't know. Only one way to find out is to use it. So I'm gonna use. I'll probably end up using it in the next few days and seeing if they're lying or if they actually did fix it. But if they didn't fix it, I'm gonna be very, very upset. Well, the uh, LP for today has been uploaded and done, ready to go. It's actually ahead of schedule, amazingly, which is kind of weird for me because usually I'll record it, edit it, and transitions and everything like same day within like three hours or less. But we're talking about like 10 minutes of big gameplay. So that's pretty bad. Um, 
but like I said before, I, I have a real job, you know, and I just do this for fun. But uh, something that's been puzzling me a lot lately is whether I should take the time to learn a new editing software. By when I say that is, I mean right now I use ScreenFlow as it is right now uh, to edit the vlogs and to edit most of the LP stuff. And the biggest problem that I see with it, it's really easy to use, very user friendly, best software ever. The biggest gripe that I have with it, for some unknown reason, I do not know for the love of me why this happens. But every time I export a video, the quality is like shot. I don't know why. I'm still trying to figure out the settings on all these things, but it's just like every time I move the settings and I up and I export the same clip, yeah, I'll say it's more megabytes, but the quality still looks like crap. I don't know. I've been noticing that also with the vlogs too. It's just like eh. I don't know if I should like bother to learn something like Premiere Pro, for example, Adobe Premiere Pro, or if I should learn something like. Um, iMovie, which I doubt because I, I just I hate using iMovie. It's too, it's too watered down. It's too, ugh. and and there's also Final Cut X, which I have. So, um, and the thing about Final Cut is to me it's like using iMovie. It's not what it used to be because I I learned Final Cut when it was a like a studio edition type of. Uh, software where you know you actually had the separate screens and chop cut and do precision cutting and everything and now it's all different it's like it's like a migraine to me so I don't know I, I think I'll probably go on my old subscription website for lynda.com and uh, try to see if I can learn maybe Premiere or something because I know nothing about Premiere I mean it's like it's like a foreign language to me I know it's part of the Adobe suite that I have but I just never bothered to learn it so I don't know, I guess that's something I could add to my arsenal. Either that or figure out the settings issue on ScreenFlow. Probably faster for me to find the settings. But either way, I probably should just consider doing it because like I said like I said before, I like doing video editing and this is one of the things I have to do. So that and I also have to figure out a good freaking program that will understand any file format for editing. Because like I'm using Fraps right now for uh, the the LP, which is it's okay. The problem is it exports in an AVI file, which is annoying. I need to export in an MP4 file for ScreenFlow. And in order from and how I've been able to get it, get to do it is I would use Media Encoder in Adobe to convert this file from AVI to an MP4, but it would also reduce the quality for some reason. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just paranoid. But anyways, I think I've rambled on enough for tonight. I I don't think I have anything left for tonight to do except for go to bed and go to work tomorrow. And it's only 10 o'clock. So I think I'm probably just going to watch some television and maybe relax a little bit. Because I'm, I think I'm thinking about these things a little too hard. Yeah. So let's be back same time, same place tomorrow, shall we? Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. And I'm, of course, making dinner again for everyone because today is Tuesday. So I'm making burgers. I have actually have ground beef right there. And I chopped up some onions and some cilantro. And I added a bunch of spices and, you know, seasonings and stuff like that. So now I'm just going to press them into patties real quickly. And then go grill them on the grill real quickly, which everything should turn out good, I hope. Well, we've got quite a few patties cooking over there. Mega patty and some buns toasting. So, yeah. It looks really good. Hopefully it'll taste even better. Well, everyone, that was a delicious dinner, but uh, I'm going to get ready to start recording an episode today, and hopefully nothing goes wrong, because I'm starting Chapter 2 today of The Ultimate Doom, which is going to be... I don't know. I mean, I know it's harder, so there's that, but we'll see what happens, because I start off with no guns, except for just my regular pistol in my hands, and then I have to upgrade from there, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but... I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm, I've been thinking about doing other things too, but I don't know, it's just a slow and painful process for me. Oh man, I, I recorded so much when it came to the game today, which is great though. And, and one level I actually got 100% and everything in it, and kills, and secrets, and in items, which is great. I mean, I love it when I do stuff like that, because like it's, I, like cause half the time I don't know what I'm doing. So I just I'm just trying my best to kill everything in sight and get all the items and 
not screw it up. So yeah, that was great. I was I was glad I was able to do that. So, anyways, I'm uh, I'm right now. I'm waiting for things to start. You know, finish rendering. So that's that's all that's happening right now. So that way I can edit it on my other computer. It's funny because I have a supercomputer right here that I really can't use because I don't know how to use the software for it. Yet I have a Macintosh computer that has an okay editing program that I use because it, I know how to use it. So, anyways, all right. Uh, I think I'm gonna let that work, and I'll probably have I don't know, I'll probably have some tea or something. My throat's starting to hurt now from yelling at my computer. So I've kind of got to make this a goal for me now is to learn Premiere or some freaking program that will do everything that ScreenFlow does, but faster and on my, any platform like a PC or a Mac. Because I'm getting tired of having to wait to convert these files over and then you know adding all the effects and everything just for one program that I know how to use correctly. So it's getting very frustrating. And like right now, I'm re I have to re-render the video that I just got through doing. Luckily, I recorded two episodes today, so I can kind of get away with a little bit. But it's like it's tomorrow. It's officially you know tomorrow. So I'll probably end up just uploading this tomorrow morning instead of tonight. So that way, people in California they get it at 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. instead of midnight since it's here in Florida. So, <clears throat> anyways, regardless, I'm tired and I'm just gonna let this thing render all night. Luckily it's rendering both the films, so Ugh, I have to learn Premiere and I don't want to sync more I, I what I, I think I, it's my own fault. I should have learned Premiere a long time ago, but I, I don't know, I guess it's just one of those things that you gotta bite the bullet for it. Because Premiere can be a, a I hear can be a very powerful software. But much like Final Cut Pro, you know, it's really difficult to use. So I don't know. I'll, I'll probably try a beta tomorrow or something. But anyways, I'm tired, so I'm gonna meet you guys. Same. Bleh. Let's meet back same time, same place tomorrow, shall we? Hello everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. Big headache. So much stress at work. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap. I'll be right back. Oh, that feels so much better now. After a one-hour nap, some Excedrin, and a light, light, light dinner, I uh, I can finally talk about my day. Um, so this morning was actually kind of weird because this morning when I went to work on my scooter, it failed on me. Like just straight up, like sounded like, you know that sound in a car that it makes whenever like it's going out of gas? Basically like it's out of gas. That's the sound that I kind of heard when I, I was using my scooter, which is weird because my scooter had plenty of gas. It, the oil was fine, the spark plugs were fine. I checked them all when, you know, when after I had to pull over. And it was so weird. I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't figure it out. So I had to call Austin and have him bring his truck over just for him to, so we could load it into his car, bring it back to the house. I had to take my car to work. And I, I repaired it. I just got through repairing it because I didn't show it on the vlog, but I mean, it was, it was, uh, I mean, it just, I don't know if you guys want to see that stuff or not, but regardless, it, it was a very simple fix. I, I, I think I knew what the problem was and I'm pretty sure I fixed it. I had, uh, I, there's been raining a lot lately, and what happens is they'll kick up a bunch of water into some of the lines, and some of the the, the fuel line, and the the engine's right there, right underneath the bike. So sometimes, it, like you get some water droplets that come in there that just sit uh, on those lines. So that's probably what ended up happening. It's just some blockage. So I ended up just unplugging it and dumping out a little bit of gas, and then putting it back, and it worked just like that. I then went to the gas station real quickly, and I go to fill it up, and you know it only cost me like a few dollars. So while I was there, I also got. A Yahoo, which is like, I haven't had a Yahoo in like so freaking long. I, I love Yahoos. They're so bad for you, but eh, you're only young once, I guess. But uh, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of this because mm, so good. The, the better ones are the double chocolate ones, which, I mean, it's funny. Well, it's pronounced Yoohoo. I call it Yahoo for some reason. I, I don't know why. I've always called it that way as a kid. But if you look at all the things that go into making this thing, I don't think you'll find the word milk or chocolate in here at all. Maybe the preservatives, but I don't know. It's just it's so weird. But this stuff will kill you. But it's so good. Anyways, like I said, this morning was just a crazy mess with that and then work being all stressed out you know i came home and i had a light dinner and just went straight to bed for an hour and then got up and i felt 10 times better so right now i'm going to focus on uploading the two clips for today because today is 
two clips because I didn't upload yesterday night because I was really tired and I need to get some rest. It was like 1 a.m. before I was finished editing. And I figured, well, I can upload it now and hope for the best or I can upload it tomorrow. And I'm like, well, I'll upload it tomorrow. So I'm going to upload two clips today, one for yesterday, one for today, and uh, and then get work get started on tomorrow's clip. Yesterday. Yeah. Anyways, that's that's what's happening right now. Well, I didn't end up uh, recording anything, unfortunately, because I kind of just ran out of time because I was, all the video editing and rendering took longer than I wanted it to, and I kind of spent a little bit of time learning how to use Premiere Pro on uh, Lindu.com, which is a website that I subscribe to to learn new software and stuff like that. So it's a useful little tool. I like it. Um, it's very useful to me, anyways. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't record anything today to get ahead. So tomorrow I'll just record like it's if it was a normal day, like always. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to go to bed now because it's like 11 o'clock and I need to get ready for work. So let's be back same time, same place tomorrow, shall we? I can't believe this. I hate you so much. <laughs> I shared it to my one friend, the artist, and he's like, uh, Where did you get that? He's like, you have to sell it to me. I'm like, no, nah. no, I know, because this is from my personal collection. Oh my gosh, that's. You ever seen this? What? No, this is know. like the special edition Hy Hyrule Warriors. It comes with like a Triforce clock and. Oh wow, yeah, it's already out. I don't even know how. Yeah, it came out, out. Uh, last week. Was it last week? Yeah. Wow, that's that's just that's much wow. I can bet you. By the time, if we stop at John Shriver's house, he has two. His dad has one, he has one. Yeah. Uh, That's way cool. Both. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Um, it's the end of the day right now. I actually took some time today to go to the game shop. and Well, what was formerly known as M&M Gaming is now known as Old School Games, which it's pretty nice. You know, they changed their name around. But I was there for quite some time and I ended up purchasing one thing. I purchased Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy Kong's Quest and it's the uh, NES cartridge and along with, I got a package today as well, which was cool. I'm going to undo that. But while I open that package, I wanted to talk a little bit about, whoa. okay, stay. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some of the editing software that I've been, well, you know, using. I had uh, used for the first time Adobe, um, Adobe Premiere Pro, and it was, uh, it's actually pretty good. I mean, I was able to do the things that I wanted to do. I, I need to figure out how to do effects next. But after that, it's pretty much it. I mean, I pretty much start using it for vlogs and stuff like that. But I don't know. It's just it's just a another tool for me to use. I mean, I, I finally start. I started it off with like a, a Doom video that I wanted to edit, and have ready to go, and it, it worked out fairly well. I mean, I was able to do some sequences pretty fast and. I don't know. So what was in that box was this little box, right? Or that little package was this little box. And I'm trying to see what this is because I don't remember ordering something or do I? I just don't remember it. Oh, okay. Now I know what this is. This is a solid state hard drive right here. So got myself a solid state hard drive. It's a 250 gigabyte Ultra Plus from SanDisk. It's it's a good little drive. Um, I mean, they make flash drives bigger now, but, you know, uh, this was actually going to be put into my old Mac, uh, MacBook Pro, the old one that I had, uh, right before I upgraded to this new one, uh, the MacBook Pro with Retina Display, because I'm going to be giving it to Ryan, so that way he has something to mess around with. I just decided to buy this, so that way he has a better computer, instead of the stock um, features that are on that computer, so... I'll probably install this and uh, have it ready to go for tomorrow and ship it out tomorrow. But uh, that that's basically everything that's been done. I'm just really tired. I need to get some rest. I, I uploaded the videos already and they're good to go. So actually I think I could probably, um, t -t 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 for some reason my computer re oh, it, uh, Windows updates of course. Okay. Well, no big deal. Anyways, I'm just going to end things up for tonight here. So let's meet back same time, same place tomorrow, shall we? And hopefully it'll be a less stressful day because it's going to be Friday. Friday's good, I hope. 
One more thing that I forgot to mention. I can't believe I forgot to mention this today, but uh, I actually got a bunch of gift cards right here for PDQ. And I actually have, you see the thickness right there, I have quite a few of these gift, $10 gift cards. I actually have $200 worth of gift cards that, because uh, I purchased them for a fundraiser thing. And basically you buy $5 worth of gift cards, you get 10. So I bought 100, which equals to 200. So that's a lot of gift cards. So needless to say, we're probably going to be eating at PDQ quite a bit. So it was for a good cause. So I just wanted to add that before I forget. So, tomorrow. Oh, what happened to my lens here? What'd you do? I don't know, my lens right here, it's just like, there's a black spot. Anyways, we are having our half watermelons. And we actually changed the pace a little bit. We're not going to watch Doctor Who and have the Christmas special. We're going to watch, what is it called? Wizard?